Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Sponge's Tech Tips. I'm Sponge, uh, working on the 08 Honda Pilot series here, uh, doing the complete interior swap from one 08 Honda Pilot to another. Uh, this one's super low mileage, only 55,000 miles, and it had uh, some damaged interior from a dog or something. And we are taking a nice interior out of higher mileage pilot with a bad motor and uh, swapping the entire thing, which at the same time is a color change. So got a lot going on, doing back-to-back -back videos, multiple tech tips here. Uh, the one I'm going to do now is uh, how to get at the driver's seat belt. Now this will be necessary if you have... Um, a bad seat belt maybe with your airbags you need to replace it uh, any maintenance or anything like that uh, most likely if you're doing this work you have your seats involved so they'll be a little bit different I've got everything out so it's pretty much in the open here so um, first thing we're gonna oh uh, tools you're gonna need you're gonna need a 14 mil socket and well you don't really need an extension on this one but I have an extension on mine uh, you may want a panel popper like so, but it's not necessary. A lot of this can be done just with your hand. So um, first and foremost, at the back door, you're gonna take off the sill plate here. Uh, the back's already removed, but just imagine that it's not. Uh, you're gonna get your hand underneath it or your panel popper. You can come at it uh, here, maybe. You're gonna pop that up. Woo! Three compression plastic clips, one, two, three. You are going to open up your front door. Got a lot of stuff out here. Let's see if we can do this without the. So, this one here, you got uh, to deal with your gas filler puller. You're going to grab it, slide it forward, and then, same as the back one. Let's see if we can keep this door from closing on us. I might want to put a panel popper on this one. There we go. So I just use the panel popper, get underneath the edge, pop it up and free. That will allow that to separate. Okay. Again, three. Let's see. Now this one has two plastic, one, two, and then a metal one behind the the uh, gas filler door opener lever okay next thing you are going to do you are going to go at the bottom of the seat belt it, obviously if your seats here you got to move the seat forward out of your way you're going to pull off this rubber boot pull it off and up out of your way you're going to use your 14 mil socket and ratchet oh. and you are going to Pop that free and loosen it. These have lots of threads. Sometimes they have a little bit of a uh, a thread lock style material on them to keep them from backing out. This one doesn't feel like it does, but sometimes they do. I do not like this new ratchet I got. I lost my old one i've had another ratchet for about 25 27 years i finally left it in a vehicle somewhere and can't find it so i got this new one i don't like it it's it's too it's kind of loud for one and two it's hard to spin okay next thing you're going to do up here at the top you are going to well actually we don't have to do that yet let's do that in a second next thing we are going to pull off our weather stripping front and back there we go pull that out of the way so and then we can just get behind here with our hands we're gonna pop that out sorry that was kind of forceful but a little bit of it just pops free it's got a little overhang on the back here a little overhang on the front and then a couple of compression um, plastic clips and then that is off and out of our way looks like all the clips came with it so uh 
Why is this one out? Oh, I know why. Okay, so I unhooked that already. I'm not sure why I unhooked that. Oh, duh. Okay, never mind. Got confused there for a second. So, okay, never mind. So that one's out. You're going to come up here to the top, get your finger underneath here, kind of pull it out to the side a little bit. Same thing with the front, pull it out to the side a little bit. I don't really like to use tools with this because they can break. It's kind of a weird way that it clips in, but if you just kind of pop the edge out and pull it, pop the edge out and pull it. Be careful, you don't want to blow this apart because this has kind of a spring mechanism that allows it to go up and down. You're better to, left, uh, to leave that be. You're going to use your 14 mil to loosen the top. I'm actually going to get rid of my extension so I can get a little bit better leverage on it because I'm doing this one-handed. Okay. There we go. Okay, this one's a little tight too. This one I might actually have some of that thread lock stuff on it. Feels a little bit tighter, feels like it's binding still as we go. But we're just gonna keep going on that. Probably about halfway. Sorry I didn't uh, I didn't loosen these advance in advance. Sometimes I do just speed things up. I didn't do it this time. You almost there. Sorry guys. Please be patient with me. Okay. It's out enough to where we can do the rest by hand. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. I may have forgot a tool or two here. Um... We need to disconnect this, and I don't know. Oh, we don't need special clips. Okay, just pop that out, sorry. Uh, and then you're going to pull this mechanism this way, and then separate your airbag clip. Uh, your airbag plug. Again, I recommended it earlier. If you are going to be unplugging these, it's best to have the battery disconnected. And it's just safer that way. And also, it will um, allow you to not have to reset the airbag light sometimes. So you disconnect it. Then you disconnect these plugs. Then you plug them back in after you do your maintenance or your replacement or whatever. Then you replug the battery in. And many times, you do not need to reset the airbag so I did forget one socket we need a 10 millimeter up here it does have a Phillips head let's let's just go grab that real quick uh, climbing off through this okay back into the car We are going to break this 10 millimeter free. Maybe. Did I grab the 10? That is the 10. Oh, there it goes. This one I do want the extension on. All right, sorry about being bouncy there, guys. Okay. So I already broke it free. I can just loosen this by hand. Okay, 10 millimeters out. And now your seat belt is removed and completely free for repairs or maintenance or whatever. All right, guys, uh, installing it is the same as removing it, just in the opposite way and the passenger side will be a similar removal except for the bottom of the seatbelt is 
attached to the seat, not to the pillar. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you are enjoying the series on the pilot, uh, go ahead and subscribe. We've still got more to do. I'm just going to keep uh, doing tech tip after tech tip after tech tip, video after video here. And if you are interested in any other vehicles, also subscribe because we just don't work on pilots. And please like this video and leave uh, comments if you'd like. All right, guys. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.